like a substantive. <laughs> Is that Frankie crying? <laughs> Frankie, what's wrong? I need her dress. The party is tonight. I totally forgot about the party. Hey, I know somebody. You do? Yeah, let me go get my phone. Hello, is this Rachel Baker? Yes, it is. Can I get a dress, please? Okay. A Halloween dress. Okay. And I have... When do you need it to be here? Uh, five o'clock. That's like in three hours. I know. That's going to cost you extra. Okay. Baker and I just received a phone call so it looks like I need to make a dress very quickly so I'm going to go through this fast. If you have questions please put them in the comments. I hope you enjoy this video. Bye! Okay so here are the supplies. I'm going to start with the velvet ribbon which I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Also picked up this spiderweb tool. Don't need scissors, thread, and velcro. going to start by drawing the pattern. So to do this, fold a piece of paper in half. And now we're going to lay our doll on top of the fold, just slightly over the center mark. Make a line from the top down to just below the hips. because my fabric has no stretch, I'm going to actually widen it slightly. If this was a stretchy fabric, then I would go with the original line. Now I'm going to compare the length of my ribbon to make sure my pattern matches up. Go ahead and cut this one out. This is going to be the front piece for the dress. Alright, so now we have the front piece. It's time to cut the back, so we're going to fold that front piece back in half. And then laying it on another piece of paper that is not folded. This is just a flat piece of paper. And then we're going to give it about a quarter inch for the Velcro allowance. So the back piece is a little bit wider than half of the front piece. Always want to label your patterns just for quick reference for the next time you decide to make this project. Also, if you would like more information on patterns, please say so in the comments. I can do more videos on details on how to draw, how to draw patterns. Now we need to um, cut up the fabric. So you're going to do one front and then two backs. You're going to do one back on one side, flip it over, and one back on the next side. Okay, so now we have our pieces. We're going to pin those together. And for the stitch width, I like to use a three on clothing that's small. Um, also, don't forget to backstitch top and bottom because if clothing is going to be taken on and off and played with, you want it to be really secure. So stitch, backstitch the top and the bottom of the fabric. And again, um, I like a three for the width of my stitch. Now our top is almost finished, just lacking the Velcro, which we will do last. Next step is going to be adding her fun spiderweb skirt yay so when i seen this tool at the dollar tree i had to get it i knew i would make something out of it and i'm so glad i picked it up so roughly 24 inches I'm going to fold that in half and then this part's really important so we're going to run a stitch all the way across the top and that stitch has to be at a five stitch width for the fabric to gather properly. So again, 24 inches, and then we are going to run a five inch stitch width across the top. That's kind of hard to say. Okay, here we go. And we're back. Okay, so you'll notice I left threads on both ends. This is very important. Don't cut them short because then you cannot gather the skirt. So grab one of the thread pieces 
and you're going to gently pull the fabric and that will gather beautifully. Gather from one side and you're gonna go to the other side and gather from the other side. Remember to be gentle because if you pull too tight, you have to start over. If the thread breaks, you have to start over. Now you need to balance out your ruffles. You don't want too many on one side. So just eyeball it, um, just balance them out. Okay, so now we have to connect our top part of the dress to the bottom part of the dress. And the easiest way to do this is to find the middle point on each piece and then match up those points. So fold it in half and then mark your fold with a pin There we go. And now we're going to do that same thing on the top. Fold in half and then mark with a pin. And now with right sides together, we're going to match up our pins. Okay, so now we're just going to line up our pins and then pinned all the way across could have done this a couple of ways. I decided to put the skirt directly on top of the right side. Um, I just, I like the way it lays on top of, of the ribbon versus folding it over. I wanted the skirt to lay more downward versus being up. So you could do this either way, but this is just, just my preference for how I wanted it to turn out. Be sure and use several pins. You don't want your fabric sliding around under the machine. Also, don't forget to turn your stitch width back to a three. And then we're just gonna sew right on the top all the way across. All right, we're back and it's beautiful. Time to Add the Velcro. For this project, I'm using double-sided Velcro. It tends to be a little bit thinner than buying them as fronts and backs. And also, I like to use two pieces of Velcro, one at the top and one a little bit lower. I find that using one solid line of Velcro makes the dress too bulky. So. I use um, one at the top, right at the top of the dress, and then one um, maybe like a half an inch below that top piece. And other thing you can do, you can buy a sticky Velcro and then you don't have to sew it on. Because it's clothing and it's going to be played with, I would say if you can sew it into place, it will make it last longer. But if you're just displaying them, go ahead and stick it on and be happy. Our Velcro is in place, so let's just give it a test. Make sure it's going to line up, everything's going to fit properly. And it looks like it does. Yay, a pattern worked. Sometimes patterns don't work on the first try, but um, that's okay. Just adjust them as you go. Make notes on your pattern so when you're ready to make it again, you have the pattern handy. Okay, so this part's up to you. Um, you can stitch this closed for the back. It actually looks nice left open as well. I've decided to go ahead and stitch mine closed. Either one would work. So let's turn it to the right side. Oh, it's so pretty. She's going to have her dress in time. I've been sewing for Toy Company for over five years now. So if you'd like to see more patterns like this, please let me know in the comments and I will make the time to make them for you. Oh my gosh, her dress is amazing. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. The spider webs are so good. It just pop makes it pop. Oh, I like that dress more than this cupcake. Wow, I wish I had a dress like that. <laughs> hey, where'd you get that dress? Oh, so Racer Baker made it for me. Wow, I might have to call her. She has to make me like a thousand of those things. 
Wow, she's so beautiful. Oh, so fun. And she turned out absolutely gorgeous. So happy with her pattern and the way it fits her. So here we have her hand-drawn pattern with all the notes for next time. And just for a little fun, this is a picture a friend drew for me. This is me sewing crazy for the toy company, getting all the action figures, clothing, and ready to go. And lastly, this is some of our family. We own a toy store in Fletcher, North Carolina, so come and see us. And thanks for watching. Bye.